Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask a Bible question. Please send your questions to the address that I will give you at the end of this broadcast, the email that is, and I will do my best to give you a Bible answer. Keep your questions Bible-related because this is a Bible-centered ministry, period. That's all it is. So, with that, we do have a question from a woman today who asks, I've heard you say in previous lessons that Jesus gave up his omnipresence when he came to earth. Did Jesus regain omnipresence when he returned to heaven? And the answer to that question is, no, he did not. At least as far as we know, he did not. It is true. Believe it or not, you think about this. This is an amazing humbling of himself. Think about that. The eternal son of the eternal father, forever omnipresent, just like the Father, just like the Son. Forever, he was always everywhere at the exact same time. And think about the self-sacrifice involved in the Son of God giving that up and confining himself to a human body. And it's true. He gave up his omnipresence when he came to earth. And it is also true that you can search the scriptures far and wide from cover to cover. And I don't think you'll find anything in scripture to indicate that he got it back, certainly, or that he will ever get it back. As far as we know, he has given it up and he has given it up permanently. That's how much he loved us. And we know Right now, he is in his resurrected body. We know that because the disciples saw him ascend into heaven in that body. And the angels who appeared said he will return in like manner as you saw him go up. So just as he, re just as he went up physically, bodily, he will return physically, bodily. So right now, we know too that he is in his resurrected body, sitting at the right hand of God the Father. And when he returns, the Bible says every eye will see him as he returns, physically, just as he ascended. It's an amazing sacrifice, isn't it? The sacrifice of the Son of God went way beyond the cross. Just another reason to praise him, to worship him, to love him, and to want to live for him. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me, please send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.